All right, hello everyone. Happy Sunday. We're just going back to the police station right now because I'm I uh, have to go work out. I haven't really been to the gym much ever since I got promoted, honestly. So we're just going to work out. I took I was able to take my car home. Actually, we got it wrapped, so that's a plus. So I really did I really wasn't feeling the unmarked. Obviously, I have a choice to go back to un to unmarked if I wanted to, but I really wasn't feeling it. I don't know what this guy's doing, but, uh, okay. Alright, I'll just go ahead and park here. I think other deputy. I, I don't know, I think they did their morning brief already. I'm not sure, though. So I think I could just go straight to work. Did that guy just do a burnout on the sheriff? Oh, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. Also, I have these cars driving without their lights on. Pretty odd. Okay. Sorry, my, my sheriff's uh, instinct is just kicking into me right now. Alright, I think... Yeah, good morning. Uh, I think I'll do some uh, bench press right now. Why not? Maybe I can stretch a little bit before I do it. I don't know. Right, let's get down there. Boom. Alright, let's do some bench press. Oh my gosh, how much pounds is this? 160 jeez that's insane all right i'm just gonna go run on the treadmill as well this treadmill can go at like insane speeds i don't even know how i think the max is like 50 miles an hour for a treadmill these things are like like really really good i don't know is this thing going to get replaced? Why? What, what happened? Something happened with it? I mean, I can bring it up to the sheriff, but I, I just want to know. Honestly. Honestly, everything in this station needs to be replaced. Well, most things. The treadmill? Your treadmill didn't work? Oh, that's pretty weird. Okay. Alright, get a few of these dumbbells. Start lifting them up. Oh, gosh. Let's do 10 sets of these. When you're going to start flexing like me, uh, ma'am, I'm already stronger than you. Don't ever disrespect your lieutenant like that again, okay? Now go on patrol, lady. All right, that was kind of harsh. I'm just, I'm sorry. <laughs> All jokes here, you know? All right, everyone, I think that's uh, the end of my workout. It's been about 20 minutes, so... Uh, yeah, I was just going to check if anybody's in the briefing room and things. All right, I'm going to go uh, go ahead and start going to patrol. Actually, let me see if uh, if there's anything on the computer. Yeah, guys, I... Oh, oh, I did not see you there. I'm sorry. I didn't... Oh, what's it called? I have desk duties now. Like, I have more desk duties now because I'm a lieutenant. Oh, we got a call? Let me just check that out. Guy with a knife? Whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 uh, gas and go? All right, it's all the way over there. All right, I guess, dispatch, go ahead and show me in route. I'm gonna be currently leaving the station right now. All right, we got one sheriff. All right, I, all right, I think that's good. All right, yeah, we got three. Wait, where am I doing my cars on this side? Gotta go hurry up to go to this call. Guy with a knife is nothing to play about, uh, but... We'll see what the severity is once we get there. Alright, yeah, I got a few sheriff units behind me. Currently on the way to Gas and Go. It's going to be a pretty long drive. Let me just turn on my siren. Let people know I'm coming. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. We just have to pass the farms. They said a guy with the knife, so I'm hoping it's nothing too bad. I hope he's not doing anything. Dude, I honestly thought that uh, yellow car was going to bump into me. He was just running full. He was just driving, and then he slammed on his brakes. Should have heard my siren. All right. Okay, there's a good amount of people. There's always a good amount of people I gas and go. All right. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and uh, show me 10:23. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MP5 from the back of my truck. Yes, because I'm a lieutenant. I get to use the special weapons. 
the others should have Glocks. What are you doing, man? Alright, looks like he's in there. Alright, everyone, move up. I try to get him slowly. Sir, I know you can hear me. Sir? Sir, I know you can hear me. You have to drop the knife, alright? I'm just gonna move in. You have to drop it. Nope, nope, nope. That's not, that's not, that's an order. You have to drop the knife. You have to drop the knife. I'm gonna go around the other. I don't know. These sheriffs are cross-firing. The cavalry is here. What? Or what? Or you're gonna get shot. If you don't drop the knife, you're gonna get shot. Or tased. Alright. I need free gas. Okay, why do you need free gas? Explain that to me right now. What? Why, why do you, out of all people, need free gas? The gas prices are too high? Well, that's um, America's problem, okay? That's not our problem. You think that's our problem? We, we can't just be giving out free gas. We're going to go bankrupt. All right. So if you just drop the knife, maybe we can resolve a little deal, okay? If you just drop the knife, we can resolve a little deal. What's the deal? Mm, I would say we can probably... I don't know. I don't know. Well, you, you should make a deal, sir. As long as you drop the knife, you can make a deal. I don't know what the deal's gonna be. But, just drop it. And also, uh, keep your hands up so that you can't reach for the knife again. So drop it, and then put your hands up. Just to make sure. My gas is $50, so I wanna pay 20 Alright. Alright, now go, go ahead and face the sheriff with the uh, black hat. Turn around and face the sheriff with the black hat. All right. All right. Well, sir, you are under arrest. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Right. Do you have anything on you I should know about besides a knife? Also, there will be no deal made. All right. All right. So I, I don't know what to do with you. All right. I don't know what to do with you because on it, you just pulled the knife to the gas and go workers. He said the cuffs are a little tight. Well, well, sir, that's how it's going to be, all right? Okay, so, well, sir, I'm going to go ahead and place you in the back of my vehicle, all right? Thank you for complying, though. I uh, really admire that, you know. I, I think uh, being trustworthy and complying is everything. All right. Hey, you guys, can, can you please not? Can you please not record, please? It's, it's, there, there's nothing else to be seen here. You, I ask you guys to just leave the scene. All right. As the lieutenant, as the lieutenant, I'm, I'm not a deputy. All right. Okay, at least they were compliant. All right. Sir, so, it was the story he's telling true? He, he just wanted higher, he just wanted lower gas prices. Is that, that's it? Yes. All right. Uh, do you want to press charges? Obviously, obviously, um, I can't think of the charge off the top of my head, but he did have a knife, and he was, um, threatening to use it, so he will obviously be booked for that, but, uh, I just want to know if, if you guys want to press any personal charges. Yes, please? All right. Well, uh, you guys, I'll, I'll leave a deputy here with you while I take him back to the station. I'll leave a deputy here with you to, uh, for the comfort, all right? He'll probably leave in a few hours just, just to make sure nothing else goes on. You'll stay? All right, perfect. Uh, also, why don't you get a report for me while I go ahead and book him to the station? You can just send it. Take take a take a photo from your phone and then just send it to me, all right? You have my, you just send it in the sheriff's office group chat. All right, uh, you, ma'am, uh, you do whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and take him back to the station, all right? All right. He said, I want my lawyer. Oh, uh, well, sir, you're not getting your lawyer yet. Your lawyer will be on speed dial as soon as we get to the station, all right? I'm going to turn my lights off. What about the gas prices? I told you, sir, the gas prices are going to stay the same. Why? Because it's not our problem. Because it's America's problem. They, they have their gas prices going high, right? There's, there's nothing we can do. You lied to me. I did not lie to you. I told you to make a deal. 
I didn't I didn't make a deal for you. That's what you have to understand. I didn't make the deal for you. Alright. And then obviously I lied and like obviously you didn't make the deal, so that's another thing. But I mean that, that that's your fault. You were the one who pulled the knife out because of higher get there you have to you have to list you have to learn. There's a higher command there's higher people in command than workers. How long will I be in jail? I don't know. You're gonna have to go to court and things like that. But there there's there's more to it than just workers. There's higher commands, there's owners, there's the government. I need my lawyer. Oh well, you're not getting it. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take you in. You're gonna be placed inside of a holding cell. You're gonna be transported to uh, Liberty County uh, Prison once uh, they interview you and things like that, alright? Your loyal... You, you'll have to request your lawyer from whoever walks in there. Trust me, your lawyer will be called. We we like to follow our policies here. Alright. Alright, everyone. Let's go ahead and put ourselves code 4 on the radio. And then... I, I honestly don't... Oh, that's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to go get my uh, chocolate milk. My daily chocolate milk. Okay, yeah, I, I totally forgot. You know, drinking it every day probably isn't the best, but, you know, you, can, you can't really go wrong with it most days. But some days it's not obviously not ideal. Right, let's just get that. Alright, uh, I don't know where the workers are, but I'll just go ahead and pay. Oh, they even got the car wash active today? Hello. Oh, well, that's weird. The guy just walked out of his car to say hello to me. Huh. Uh, does, eh, my car is not really that dirty. How much is the car wash? You know what? I'm bored today. How much is the car wash? Uh, ten bucks? Sure. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and go real slow. There's one thing I like about ERC, like, they really, they have car washes in here, too. Really cool. And then obviously the thing moves on its own. Alright. Uh, maybe I can tell a difference? Yeah, I can tell a difference. I can tell a little bit of, 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 a, of a difference. But, I mean... My car is white, so... Never really know. Alright, now I was thinking, since I'm bored... I, ha I really don't have paperwork. I really don't have paperwork, so... I'm probably just gonna go ahead and... Just chill right here. Oh, what is that guy doing? Uh, I know I'm not the only one seeing that. All right, forget chilling then. Right, let's go ahead and make a stop on this guy. What does he think he's worth? Okay. Uh, so he pulled over. Okay. All right, let's get this on the radio. Three five seven eight. Go ahead and uh, show me on a ten eleven with a blue. What looks like to be an older type of SUV. I can't really regulate the model at this time. No ten thirty two is going to be required at this time. We're and uh, we're going to be right near the right next to the movie theater on uh, Terrace Drive. Let's get out. He said I was heading to work. Huh. Sure was heading to work with with that type of driving. Yeah, you were sure heading to work, buddy. Alright. Hello, sir. Mind rolling down your window for me, please? So I don't have time for this. Uh, yeah, you do, because you caused it. Alright, sir. Do you know why I'm stopping you today? Do you know why I'm stopping you? No... All right, well, first things first, I'm Lieutenant John with the Liberty County Sheriff's Office. The reason I stopped you is because you were swerving all across the road. If there was traffic, you probably would have gotten to an accident. I'll just be honest. I just pulled you over to, uh, I, I just wanted to check. Uh, sir, have you been drinking?
<clears throat> no. All right. Uh, when did you wake up today, sir? Cause I know I know it's uh, early in the morning. So, when did you wake up? He said, uh, five a.m. Okay. Well, that might be why. So you haven't been drinking, all right? So do you have do you have an explanation on why you were swerving like that? Cause uh, that that was it was very noticeable. All right. You you can't even lie to me on this one. It is very 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 noticeable. So you can't even lie about that. All right. He said I was texting on my phone. All right. Well, thanks thanks for being honest. All right. I I I, I really thank you for being honest. All right. Uh. All right. Do you have your license and registration on you? Also, I'm gonna need the proof of insurance of the vehicle. Yes. All right. Why don't you gotta go ahead and hand that over to, uh, to me? Your boss is texting me. Well, tell tell your boss that you got pulled over while you're stopped here, because your boss is probably gonna be mad. Here, I'll go ahead and come to the other window, make it easier for you. All right. Hand that over to me. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run your information. Just stay put for me. All right. I'm definitely giving this guy a ticket. He just admitted he was on the, on his phone, which is not very good. Uh, all right. Let's search the records. All right. It's active. His license is active. All right. Everything's good on him. But I do think I'm going to give him a small little citation. Because that the way he was driving, dude, that's not even acceptable. Maybe if he was just on his phone driving normally, I would have let him off with a warning. But the way the dude was driving, no, no. Maybe I should even take him off the road, honestly. That is, like, serious. If there was traffic, yeah, definitely he would have been way, way more dangerous. Oh, I didn't even see that car. All right. Oh, sir, uh, here you go. Great, this guy is full of himself. I am a lieutenant. Uh, sir, I am a lieutenant, if you don't, if you can see by the bars on my uniform. But that, that, that's not what this is about, all right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and be writing you a citation today for, uh, swerving, all right? And, uh, you're, you're not gonna, and you're gonna have to pay for it. So, here, here you go. I already wrote, wrote it down for you in the car. There you go. So, well, I am going to let you go off to work, but try to be more careful. All right? Try to be more careful. There's no reason to give you a sight. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is. Try to be more careful. If you do get pulled over, you'll most likely be taken out of your vehicle, and your license will be suspended. Not suspended. Uh, yeah, suspended. My fault. Is, is that clear? All right? You're free to pull off when I turn off my lights, all right? Ah, oh, jeez. Did that dude really un uncompliant? I don't know. What what was up with him? I gave him a signal to go. Gosh, dude. All right. Uh, some guy's on a 1011. Um, uh, say, any 1032s? Um, 323, do you need any 1032s at this time? Negative. All right. Cool. Honestly, I'll probably go back to just sitting down in the main road. So I'll probably just get on my phone. Not, not really much. I don't want to go back to the station because then the sheriff... Like, that, that's one thing I've never told you guys about the sheriff. He's probably going to make me do something. All right, everyone. This is going to conclude episode 6. If you did enjoy episode 6, hit the like button and subscribe. Hopefully episode 7 comes with a summer update, you know, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, today was a real, it's, it was a short one, but I know I could have extended it. But I'll probably just resume the rest of my shift off camera, you know. Make sure to join all of my discords, links are all in the description. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, obviously, for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.